Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, we're gonna do a quick test on the new RG Eyeline and to see if it can handle Lightroom and Photoshop and he, if he can handle editing a, light, um, a raw photo from the Canon R5. If we, if you're familiar with the Canon R5, you know those are big uh, photos, big files. So we're gonna see if it can handle Lightroom and Photoshop. Now in Photoshop, I don't have too much experience to do like crazy things. I do have a little bit of experience, so we're gonna see how I handle it. And obviously, because I'm not gonna do crazy things on Photoshop, it should be able to handle it. And in Lightroom 2, which is gonna do pretty much the basics, like uh, just fixing the colors, the um, highlight shadows, and pretty much all that. Um, so it shouldn't be too bad. It should be able to handle it. So the way we're gonna do this test is doing it just by hand, just by doing it on the device to see if we can do it on the go. And then we're gonna hook up a, a keyboard and a mouse just to see if we can take this on the go and you can edit a lot on the go and make it easier and to see how easy it is doing it with a keyboard and mouse. The reason I'm doing this is because I've seen a few people asking me if this can handle um, Photoshop and Lightroom. So that's a really good question because there's a few people out there that they don't have a lot of money and they just want um, a one device or if they don't want to take a lot of devices like laptop and then the gaming console so this will be a good way to test it out to see if you this can handle it and to see what else it can do later on i'm thinking about doing another video i'm about to see if we can edit video uh with the visual result if i can download it i don't know if we can if not we're gonna see another program that this will let me download it and to see if it can handle it um, I haven't seen nobody doing that yet, so let's see my idea. Um, so we're gonna test this out. We're gonna download Adobe uh, Lightroom and Photoshop first. So let's go ahead and do that. So let's go and download Lightroom and Photoshop. We had to wait for installing. Installing it seems like so far it hasn't been giving the problems. So it seems it should be an easy download and installation. If you are a member, if you have a membership with Adobe, you should be able to do this. Uh, if you do it illegally, I don't know if it's gonna work because when you do it illegally, you not most of the time they don't update to the newest version. So I don't know if, if that's will affect you somehow and the performance and all that so right now because i'm a member i'm done like the latest version available as of as of today as right now i have open photoshop as you can see, it's running smooth. It's running like um, my computer pretty much. And now it's telling me all about the new AI editing. Um, so it's running pretty good uh, so far. I'm not gonna mess with it, but I can see that it's running good. The device is getting a little warm, bit warm. By the way, I'm running this on uh, operating mode. I'm doing silence on 10 wax but to make it more fair to the device we're gonna put it in the middle 15 watts that's performance mode so the gpu gpu cpu is gonna go up a little bit uh we're gonna go we're not gonna put in turbo obviously if you put in turbo uh, it's gonna run a little bit smoother so we're gonna go to a turbo create and lightroom is installed so what we're gonna do now um is we're gonna open lightroom and we're gonna edit the first picture. Let's see if it let me open. It did open. We're gonna close this. Adobe Photoshop Lightroom is opening. Smooth and easy. So it looks exactly like my computer. Um, I haven't made anything settings of the, the device as when it comes to the touch or anything like that. So well, what we're gonna do now 
is I'm gonna import a picture of it and maybe tips. So we're gonna close that. So now we, what we're gonna do is import the pictures and start working on it. But to make this fair, what we're gonna do is close fully close Photoshop so it won't mess with the RAM and then we will be trying to uh, compensate the power so then it could the device so we're gonna have huge running as right now the only thing that i have open is lightroom that way it is fully focused on lightroom and there's not nothing affecting it there's no other app affecting it the performance of lightroom so let's go ahead and import um a picture so the way we're gonna import the picture is by using this dongle this dongle has three usb it got a sd card reader reader and the micro sd card reader obviously you don't need the micro sd because you already have one in here but uh, it doesn't hurt to have an extra one i guess you can say that oh uh, and it has a hdmi port um so if you want to plug it in here um and connect like for example me i use the for the keyboard and mouse because i don't have wireless i don't use it i don't really need a wireless mouse so i can use my own ones that be used since back in the day and here i connect this one to the uh, my gaming display that i have so we can here see and see it um, if we do need to see in a bigger screen so we're just gonna plug this in and import the pictures to see how easy it is so obviously you're gonna need to connect your um wherever you have your pictures to a usb-c and we're gonna connect insert the card and should be able to read it uh, so let's see we're gonna open lightroom so and then we're gonna put import on the picture to see if it read it it does read it um, so here's all the picture that i took and because this is gonna be my top now so obviously i took a few uh, so we're gonna do an import in all of them uh, so right now it's important so far it's working fine the only thing that I noticed that it does it does slow down a lot when it comes to like if I want to exit and go some, do something else like I said on my previous videos now I'm not able to do anything else because for some reason the performance is in or Lightroom even though if I close it but let's forget about that now um let's right now it's important so let's take this off um so now we're gonna do what we're gonna do is we're gonna picture uh so let me see we're gonna select this one uh just to mess with it um then we're gonna go develop to work on the picture and that and one of the things that i want to try is the new feature that it does the noise i do work with it on my laptop it does take a couple seconds so i want to see how long it, it takes here to actually do it um i'm gonna go up on the display because i don't see it too that well um the display looks really good uh looks really clear so here this is really small um but it's workable it's nothing it's like working on your iPhone, I guess you can say. So here, move a little bit closer so I can work with it. So right now, what we're gonna do is do a quick little um, editing. Uh, so we're gonna see how good this light works. So this light is really hard to hit and miss. Uh, we're gonna go up in the contrast. You see it's like it's like it's not it's hard to do it um, because you cannot it just it's hard to do it because you cannot click on it that well so we're gonna go up on the brief uh, vibrance a little bit as you can see right now I'm having a hard time and when I do click on it I do it too much but once I figure that point it does get a little bit easier but still uh, it's hard to do it um so right now it kind of like froze but you see, as you can see here i'm touching and it's not moving now it's starting to move back um so it's a little bit slow it's not that bad but to make it a little bit easier let's hook up the keyboard and mouse 
uh, to see if that makes it better. Uh, so like I say, I could not have to do hooking this up because I don't have a, a wireless mouse. Um, so right now we're gonna hook this up and I'm gonna hook up his, the mouse just to work with it. I don't need the keyboard right now. So what we're gonna do is just plug in the mouse. The mouse you can see here, it reads the mouse, no big deal. Reads it, it honestly it's a lot easier now. So now I can come here and go to the calibration. Uh, we're gonna go up on the reds. Even with the mouse is like slow compared to the Mac. Um, oh, you can do it with the wheel. Uh, let's leave it like that. So I guess one of the easiest way you can do is like put your um, click on it and move it with the wheel. Uh, that seems to be working easier than um, then you try to move it by hand because it kind of does too much. It's like hard to control. I don't know. I think it's because it's like too slow, so it does that. Um, what we're gonna do? I'm pretty, this pretty much. Like I said, we don't really need that much. Um, let me see if I can see if it has um, noise. Um, it looks pretty, it looks pretty sharp. I like can say, like I said, it doesn't look. Um, it's hard to tell. So now we're gonna test Lightroom to the performance to see how good it does uh, when it come to masking I know that it uses a little bit more power when it comes to masking uh, as you can see right now it froze uh, I can move the mouse but when I try to exit out it's not doing it so I, like I say it's like trying to catch up and right now I'm running and right now I can't even do this so it pretty much froze like you see it froze I'm running out uh, I don't know what happened there. <clears throat> this screen is went white. Um, I'm running in turbo, um, so I don't know what happened here. Let me see if I can. Um, I might have to close it because it's froze. So as you can see is I guess you can say it's workable in an emergency. If you need to use one that one picture if you don't have a way to do it, if you don't have your phone, if you don't have if you don't want to waste your body your phone, if you don't have a tablet or anything like that, and this is the only thing you have, then I guess it can handle it. Um as right now, um well it it's an error. Um I guess we're gonna have to restart it. Uh, so let's open it again. Uh, I, might, I don't know if it is because it's on Windows. I never had that problem with the Mac. Or if it is Lightroom itself. So let's go back to the picture that I was working on to see if it disabled the, the settings that I did. So it disabled the settings that I did. Uh, yeah, I did. So look. Let's try it again to do masking and see if it worked this time. So it froze again. So like I said, when it comes to masking, because it uses like a lot of, it uses the performance of the computer, like a full performance. Uh, so it did it again, it went white. So it seems like you limit it to what you're able to do when it comes to masking and do the extra power, um, <clears throat> like the hardcore AI stuff, um, that seems to make it crash. It seems to make it the, uh, the device Lightroom to crash. Uh, right now it's running hot. I can hear the fans running. Uh, let's turn this on so you can see my speeds. Uh, so right now it's running at 
uh, it's, it's getting a little bit hot. 69, yeah, it's 69 uh, Celsius. It seems like it's rising, it's coming down again. Uh, and as you can see, it did the report again. Um, it crashed again. So let's try it again with without doing the masking. Uh, let's see if that we can end up moving to Photoshop. So we know that we we don't we cannot do anything with masking. So as you can see, we only can do a little bit of um, regular um, editing, but you can easily do this on your phone. Um, so it might be Lightroom, maybe another application. You don't really need this. Um, so let's finish editing this. Oh my God, I'm not used to like editing this way. So let's spare me to see if um, it must grow a little bit. So let's go like this. I would like to highlight here and make myself a little bit better, but because this is like that, um, we didn't do anything about it. So what we're gonna do now is go to, we, we're gonna see if we can send it to Photoshop and finish the this picture there. So let's, so it's loading right now. Uh, the CPU is 100% right now, so it's running heavy on the CPU. Um, let's do, it's, it's, it's slow, it's like even the mouse. So what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna do, um, gonna close Lightroom to see if that helps. Uh, as you can see, I don't really have anything more open. Um, so let's do that. Um, here, let's try selecting this subject and Photoshop to see if it does make it, uh, if we can do it there, here. Uh, it's loading. And now it completely froze. Even the tasking, when it turns my information, not even that is moving. So now you fully crashed the whole thing. Everything went out. Um, CPU running, running low. So I don't know what happened. My screen went blank. Um, I don't know if Photoshop closed or what happened. So when it comes to doing like heavy stuff, you're not able to do it. I can't even go out. Um, so right now I'm fully, I'm fully frozen here. Uh, let me see if I can find a way to restart. I don't want to restart the whole system, but it looks like I would have to do that because I'm even when I pressing here to go to windows to the main desktop it's not letting me so it seems like it crashed the whole thing so it seems to crash the whole thing um so now it looks like we're gonna have to do is restart it so we're gonna restart it and try it again So right now, um, the ROG is running, so I guess Windows is running some background diagnostics to see why it crashed. Obviously, we know why it did because we tried to push it too hard. <laughs> so now we're back on it. Um, let's open up Photoshop and let's try it again. So now he's opening Photoshop. I can hear the fans turning on so it's already working hard uh, let me see let me turn this on so you can see how how hard it's working 
Um, let me see if I can pull up the files that was working. So I need to open Lightroom so I can pull up the other the photo that I was working on. So let's do that. Hopefully it won't crash again. By the way, the battery on this thing sucks. It drains like really fast. So here's the picture. Um, we're gonna send it to. I'm gonna send it to Photoshop and see if we can finish working on it. Let's do crop ratio. We're gonna do. Um, uh, 12 let me see if I can pull up the keyboard 1280 by 720 which that's the uh, ratio for um, thumbnails in um, uh oh so here I'm trying to do this so it seems to froze right now no here's one let me move it okay now it's letting me move um let's do that let's put done so now i'm gonna do this so now we're gonna do is put some pictures in here so we can do that so far right now the basics with photoshop seems to be working fine you know what let's try camera raw filter to see if we can do uh editing here uh yeah it seems to be working fine um obviously i'm not gonna mess with it because we already messed with that um so let's put that it did set the changes so right now it's running really smooth um it's it's running pretty pretty decent so i guess it, it's workable so right now what we're gonna do is um put a different different logo here to make it look nicer um i don't think you should have a problem with that so as you can see here, we're gonna add this logo here, make it a little, a little bit nicer. Uh, we're gonna put it here. So as you can see, everything seems to be working fine. As long as you don't push it to do the AI stuff, the new, the new features of Adobe uh, Photoshop and Lightroom. Because once I'm clicked to select this object and remove background, that's when it's gonna crash. But to do simple editing things, like right now, I pretty much I had done all my, I have my YouTube thumbnail here. So it was doable, but not recommended because it, it crashed, it wasn't, it performing, it performing slow, uh, not that slow, it's like workable slow. But once it's like slows down a lot, it more likely it's gonna crash. And like I say, once I close this, uh, more likely I won't be able to do anything else. So like if I want to play a game, that game right now is gonna be slow. So I will have to restart the whole system. So is it convenient? No. But can you work on it for an emergency? Yes, you can do it. You can do a little bit of Photoshop and you can do a Lightroom. So right now we're gonna do export and see how we do that. Export. To see if it lets me do the export. Uh, we're gonna put GP. Uh, yeah, I think that's the correct size. Um, now what I cannot see is this window right here it's like hard to see what export is um, so we're gonna put export this right here is like really hard to see it uh, so we're gonna save it on my SD card 
click on the saver there and see if we did save. Uh, let's go check it out. Like I said, right now he's opened the folder and it's not doing anything. It's like frozen. Even though it's running my CPU pretty much four in my GPU zero, so it's not really working. So it's more like a RAM, a memory RAM issue here and Windows performing because it's not running. I just click it again and it's not doing anything. So like I was saying, it pretty much froze. So let's close this up. Say no. Close this up. See now if I can open it. Still won't let me so run out. Oh, well now it did. Um, but as you can see it like gets like really slow. And did it transfer the picture? It did so at least at least it did transfer the picture so that's pretty nice so as you seen on this test um the lightroom it does work um basis basic uh, editing and photoshop as well um so i would say it does work but i wouldn't recommend it to use it so when it comes to it using it for editing uh or replacing your computer don't do it uh, it would be a bad idea because this doesn't handle the power or Lightroom. It needs more power to and able to handle Lightroom and Photoshop to the full potential. So I hope you find this video helpful and thanks for watching.